what's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read through of all times i am the big cliche i am big papa pump without the pump i am the rock that is never hard king kong got a lot on me i am t b r terabyte reacts and i would just like to say you're welcome welcome back guys to another edition of berserk manga read through today we're going to be tackling volume 14 of this beautiful beautiful beautifully written manga and of course you know we got to do our recap of the last chapter there was a lot there was a lot and of course i will be checking for feedback i'm trying to adjust my mic um so that i don't have to be adjusting it later so yes so let's switch over let's just do the recap let's just jump into it there's a lot that happened in the last chapter man so much in those i think it was 11 chapters so we're just gonna jump in so let's just switch over here this is volume 13 and then we're gonna switch over to volume 14. okay so in the last chapter we got to see some really disturbing things you know, some really, really disturbing things that I didn't agree with, especially with Griffith raping Casca, basically her, her losing her mind. Um, you know, I mean, I don't care who wants to come and defend Griffith in some way, but he's an asshole for doing that. He, he, he you know what I'm saying? I, listen, I understand. I understood Griffith's plight. I did. Okay, I, I really did. I really did understood his plight of what he was going through from what happened to him because of what they did to him in Midland. You know, and this was basically like a desperate attempt. You know what I mean? This was like a desperate attempt for um, in his book. But it was kind of like this was all meant to be, but, but it was still a choice. You get what I'm saying? It was still a choice for him to become who he became. So let's jump back here. So a lot of you guys have given me a lot of information on the, the Skull Knight or the Skeleton Knight, right? Skull Knight, Skeleton Knight, whatever you want to call him. I think it's Skull Knight or Skeleton Knight. I don't remember exactly, but okay. So we got to kind of understood better that he's really the mvp of this because he's the one that ended up saving guts and Casca, right getting them out of there to um to ricker right so as we hear we went back they started off with um the skeleton knight skull knight versus the one and only zod here right nosferatu right and they were talking, you know, what I'm talking, talking about the void and all of this other stuff. Right. Um, so basically, I don't know. I, there's no confirmation of what their relationship is. I really don't want you guys to come in the comment section on YouTube and explain to me all of these things that I'm probably going to find out later. Don't do that, please, because then you're just explaining stuff away that I don't want to, that I don't want to know yet. You get what I'm saying? So don't do that. So, okay. So we go back to the scene of what was happening inside the eclipse and everything that's going on in there. Um, all the people we lost, you know, basically all the friends, including um, Pippin died. So many, so many of our good characters man judo you know what i'm saying went down saving casca trying to save her you know this guy got killed by i think it was the succubus that we saw in the, like the first chapter a lot of you guys reminded me of that even though it looked familiar a lot of that stuff like it's not like i don't remember 
I don't necessarily want to assume certain things also because it could be different. We already saw the demon from the um, that was from the count from the early chapters that we that we did right right and then we did and then we saw um right so so yes yeah, so as we scroll down here this is a succubus right it's the same succubus that ended up, that guts ended up killing in that um flash forward that was so we see judo and Casca trying to escape right yo judo got messed up man by that demon he tried he tried so hard to get to get away with her you know but it just just didn't happen they tried fighting back to no avail and of course we saw when you went down right here and it kind of it, it also the fact that he um had feelings for her too you know what i'm saying he had feelings for her i think he actually loved her and declaring that at the end you know so Casca ended up getting captured she couldn't escape you know what i mean so it continued you know then we we got to see the um, the, the emergence of he emerges from the deep oh, the abyss as something else remember what they call him now the douche <laughs> oh my god you know guts was still fighting trying to get him out screaming you know Th this this here bro this really got me because it was like this dude that always looked up to guts man that was always looked up to guts you know what i'm saying and then he then pfft, his face just explodes and this freaking demon just burst out of him it was just uh it was just and then pippin you know what i'm saying oh my god like we just ah uh, that was just them showing uh you know these characters just and then this shit i can't even begin to tell you guys how much you know this stuff is just you know what i'm saying and then we finally learned the names you know, wait a minute. Where was I don't want to scroll back up right now because it takes too long. I'm wondering if because I just realized this. Wasn't um what's his name? Zod and and the Skull Knight was talking about Void. In the beginning, let me. I'm going back, bro. This is the recap. We can do that. So let me see in this first chapter here, and we can probably end up back somewhere there, right? They were talking about Void, and they made sure that they put his name. I have no interest in your indulgent spree. What I seek are the strong. You should know that old rival and said Void would say that. This too lies within ca causality's current. Very well, I wager myself upon my sword. So they know this nigga. They know Void. I didn't even I didn't even catch that. It's just because I was scrolling through and I read that, bro. So they know 
the 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 godhead i mean i know they know about him but not know know them you get what i'm saying what was were they members of the godhead you get what i'm saying was void one of their friends and then he joined the godhead what is the situation here because void is the creepy looking one right right the void is the creepy looking one that's really like i don't even know how far i was i wasn't that far but let's see All right so they got casca and we're about to see um griffith's emergence um yeah so the thing, the thing about Berserk that I enjoy the most is just like you gotta remember a lot. Cause if you don't, you're not gonna really recognize certain things when it's happening, right? So that's what I enjoy the most about reading this manga. It's the mystery, the the mystery behind it, you know. And the exploration of certain things that we you may or may not believe in. You know what I'm saying? But what if this is the life that we actually live? That we lived in a world where monsters really do exist and you either put up or just die. You know what I'm saying? So, we have Gifrit emerging. The birth the fifth blessed king, the new demon king, right? The Atar extension, and okay, we got into this. This is Void. They didn't mention any of the others, but they did mention Void. So that's why I was like, oh shit. They said something about Void. So they maybe had a personal relationship with him at some point. They just talked casually about it like, like they were friends. Femto, the wings of darkness, Mr. Femto. Okay, Mr. Griffith. I don't think I'm going to remember Femto, but I will remember Griffith. And then he proceeds to rape our girl. This was not cool at all. You know what I mean? And he did this right in front of Guts. Guts basically ripped his arm off to get to Casca and still didn't get to her. You know what I'm saying? This was just so wrong in so many levels. And I will never forgive him for this. You ain't never going to be a good guy ever again in any way possible. You know, and then here comes the dude coming in, and it seems like Void recognizes him too. So that's another thing, too. You know what I'm saying? And he looks like he tried to hit Void. Wait a second. This is confusing. This scene right here. Okay, so he tries to hit him. And for some reason, the sword came back at him? Okay, I guess he can create some weird stuff like that, I guess. Because he tried to hit him, and then the sword came back on him, and he blocked it. Right? Right? He proceeds to take out those demons. See, this is good. The, the recap that I'm doing is very good because, you know, maybe I didn't catch certain things before. Or it's just a, just a reminder, really. You know, maybe I'll catch some things that I didn't catch or don't remember seeing. So... Griffith tries to take out the Skull Knight and misses. <laughs> A bunch of stuff surrounding him. He ends up behind him, picking up Guts and Casca. 
bringing them to to judo. The age of darkness. All right. All right. And then we have the closing chapters of Guts Waking Up. Let me go back. I mean, I feel for Casca more than anything else because she don't have, at this point, she don't really have a choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's lost it. She doesn't even remember him. You know what I mean? I'm wondering if he's going to leave her, you know, to go do his thing. Because, I mean, in the opening chapters, they're not together at all. So... So I, I, I think he's going to end up leaving her because, I mean, to go look for Griffith, maybe. I don't know. The interstices. Yeah. And he gave him the sword. Right. Remember, I remember this. <sighs> Giving him the destiny speech. Right. Okay. So we gonna move on to um, to fourteen. All right. I hope you guys are still with me. You know that took a while. It usually takes a while. Ten, fifteen minutes to go through all of that. You know, if you want, you can always forward through it. It's up to you. Yeah, I do it for my benefit. And you guys say you don't mind. So, that's what we doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just give me a little bit of time here. As I find this damn file. Yeah. So, uh, there's a lot about this manga. You know? There's a lot about this manga that I really do enjoy, you know, that enjoy that never s seem to change. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's very consistent with 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 a certain with certain points. Right. It's very consistent with certain with certain points that it never strays away from it. You know what I mean? Never strays away from it. Like, this is the most extensive background story that I've ever seen in anything that I've ever watched. Backgrounds, backstory or background stories, backstories are never usually taken up so much. I mean, we're like, when did we start this backstory? Maybe, I think it was maybe four or maybe five volumes in. I don't remember exactly. Okay, so we're we're at least ten volumes deep into a backstory right now. You know what I'm saying? Just to see, just coming up to that point. You know what I mean? Just coming up to that point where we see what really took place, the story behind. You know, why is guts? And what why Guts and um and Griffith had a fall in now. Seems like we have wow, only nine chapters. What is this? Conviction arc. So we only have nine chapters for this one. 
Um, so let's see how, how they wrap things up. You know, as I said, very extensive back um, backstory. Um, not necessarily caught up yet. There's still more to go. Okay, so we got Guts. Um, riding with the with the skeleton knight, skull knight, whatever. Okay, so we got them riding together. Whoa, through the night forest, just like wind. You said this makes twice you've carried me. What's that mean? Guts is asking him. I'm the one who carried you both from that otherworldly land. Guts is like, what? Don't thank me. It was incidental. This too has some connection. And Guts asks him, who the hell are you? And he says, I am the foe of the Inhumans. That's all I'll say for now. Okay, so dear enemies, why is he an enemy? Why is he an enemy of the God Hand? You get what I'm trying to say? Like, there's so much to learn that's going on. You know what I mean? So, why do you bring us to these mountains? I've never told anyone else about this place. Well... I merely brought you to the nearest safe place to that otherworldly gate. Formerly, elves lived in those mountains. Even though the elves have left, the earth's energy is strong. It was a most suitable place in which to hide from those of the darkness. I didn't know you had some connection to the place. It was chance. He said, oh yeah, Godo mentioned that once. Oh, so he's saying that they mentioned about the elves before. He was like, likewise, what saved you from death? Was the elf dust that your friend by chance had with him? Right. Elf dust. And he's like, medicine of the highest quality. It is not easy to come by. Seldom do elves reveal themselves to humans. Maybe you have some ties to the elves. And he's like, hmm. Even so, I suppose you have no desire to believe in destiny and such. He's like, yeah, not now. But if we're supposed to hide ourselves, why is Casca? And he's like, perhaps she's gone outside the ore cave. If she doesn't want the evil spirits to approach, she mustn't leave that place. Oh, all the better if it's a place in the sunlight, but once the sun sets, or if she walks into a dark forest, the dead will gather around her, like what just happened to you. Hey, wait a minute, because she does have the mark too, so, you know, it's like, hey, wait a minute. Then that means from now on she has to stay inside that cellar. Casca does. And he's like, there. She's out here basking. And he's like, Cas, wait. He's like, what? Something's wrong. Something's wrong. The evil spirits aren't inflicting harm upon her yet so many are gathered why T too late the damage is already done Casca hey you okay are you hurt uh, she's holding her stomach she's holding it all right um all right, I'm going to end the first part here. Um, I'm going to see where the feedback came in because I even noticed that the feedback came in. Um, and then. All right. All right, so let's I'm going to back that up a little bit. I think the, the feedback came in around here. So let's back that up. I'm gonna read this over right where the skull knight was talking about um was telling him 
that is going to have the same effect so she can't leave where she's at. So we're going to start back there. It's hard for me to check for feedback while I'm talking a lot of times. That's why I'm, you'll see me take like breaks because I'm actually I can't I can't hear when feedback comes in. And that's the that's the worst thing is because I can't hear when the feedback comes in. So I can't necessarily hear it unless even if I have my headset on, I can't hear when the feedback comes in. I literally have to be watching the the um the audio levels on the mixer because there it is visible because it only comes in on the mic for some for some reason it never it never comes in on the output it's just on the input it's just it's it's so weird that that it happens like that because even if i have my headset on i won't hear the um that's because i'm not like it's just picking up the mic levels. If I should make the mic audio come through, then I would probably hear it in my headset, but I can't do that because if I do that, I'm going to be giving myself natural feedback, which, well, I don't know. If you guys know anything about audio engineering, you know what I'm saying? You would understand better what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can't have both things. You can't have input and output running on the same channel you're going to get feedback. So you have to have them separately. That's why a lot of times if you're trying to record something like say, for instance, on your laptop, right? If you have something playing on your laptop through your, through your laptop speakers, right? If you're watching a show, but you have your mic on, right? Like if, it, if you have your mic on, but it's not muted, you will hear this funny, this echo going on the echo feedback right so you have to turn your either turn your mic off or turn the mic down you get what i'm saying so you don't get that feedback okay so let's continue here perhaps she's gone outside the ore cave if she doesn't want the evil spirits to approach she mustn't leave that place all the better if it's a place in the sunlight but once the sun sets or if she walks into a dark forest the dead will gather around her like what just happened to you it's like hey wait a minute then that means from now on she has to stay inside that cellar Casca does and she and they spot Casca standing up on a mountaintop or whatever that is a cliff it's like something and he says something's wrong the evil spirits aren't inflicting harm upon her, yet so many are gathered. Why? So even the, the skeleton knight is questioning why why they're not attacking her. It's like, it jumps off the horse, like, too late, the damage is already done. Casca, hey, you okay? Are you hurt? She grabs her stomach. He, he calls out to her. It's like, what's wrong with you? And she holds his arm. It's like, cuz. Ah, she is. She is in pain. She is crying. Oh, wow. She is bleeding. I wonder if he. What the hell is that that just fell out of her, bro? Is that a... What? No. Bro. Oh, my God. This is disturbing, bruh. This is disturbing. She just birthed a demon. Oh my god, and she's protecting it. Guts was about to step on that thing. She's protecting it. It's like, Costco, move. What are you doing? And 
he's like, it's her child. And he's like, that girl was with child, that shapeless fetus, which was only just conceived, was possessed by evil, probably due to her sexual relations with the new Godhead. Ah, man, bro, I didn't even think about that. I did not even think that is a possibility that she could, that she, he impregnated her. That's crazy, but so quickly, no, that even sh showing nothing. That's what I'm saying. Just conceived. How the hell she have it already? There's no, no pregnancy. It's just like, okay. I didn't even. And so it was taken on the nature of a demon. It's a cursed child. Bruh. That means. Wait. It would be best to kill it. That's no human child. Someday it will bring woe upon you both. That means it's. Shut up. Hold on a minute thing is growing like crazy already so that simple means that that is the reason why the spirits weren't attacking her makes sense that's the reason why the spirits weren't attacking her is because of that that's crazy yo guts grabbed it bro she's gonna kill that thing and she's crying out, no. No, the thing says no. And she grabs it back again. It's like, this is a demon. One of those who devoured our comrades and made you this way. She's biting him. No. Turning invisible? Ah! She cries out. She's like, oh. So it's your child. This doesn't mean it has become dust. Like the other evil spirits chased by the light, it has slipped into a place nearer the world of the dead. Someday it will appear before you both again. All children yearn for their parents, as do demons in their own way. Okay. I'm not looking forward to meeting a demon, baby, but hey. <laughs> it's like, so Rickard comes running, shouting guts, and the Skull Knight leaves. He says, farewell. We will likely meet again, should destiny dictate. If you mean to pursue... The Inhumans follow the guidance of that brand. It reacts strongly to evil. But mind this, yours is a black path through the night. When you confront those who lurk in the darkness, you also envelop yourself in it. Good journey, struggler. Okay, so end of that chapter. Armament, okay. Oh wow, so we got some people on a carriage here. And they're like, whoa, whoa, Did he about to hit something on the road. It's like, dumbass bastards, what are you doing in the middle of the road? It's like, hey man, this per doesn't look like a person. <laughs> sniff, sniff. What is what is he trying to smell? Or sniff, I say, like, what is that? And tell him, don't get involved. God's sake, sun's up and vanishes. Sun ups and vanishes. Nothing but bad omens happening. Sacrifice. What the hell is this? Is this the demon, baby? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, so we got the little girl here coming in with her pops. Erica, look like she grabs the key. 
she's trying to grab a key. It's like, hold on, Erica. Shh, this way. Should we really be? <laughs> it's like, ta-da. <laughs> it's like, incredible. So many weapons and armor. They say my daddy's so good, he's really famous in town. He used to make swords and armor for the local lord. And that's not all. Bows and arrows, cannons, spurs, horseshoes. What's the deal with this? And lots more. It's like, he was a genius who'd make anything he was asked. So, okay, it makes sense. So, this is who Guts gets his, um, his gun arm from. <laughs> right? <laughs> This is who he gets his gun arm from, right? So it's like, what? What's this? Oh, that? The Dragon Slayer. That? Okay, so we find out, finally, we find out the real name of that ridiculous sword that, um, that Guts ends up with. It's called the Dragon Slayer. <laughs> a king sent out a proclamation long ago. To bring him a sword that could kill a dragon. And so the Lord put me on the job. <laughs> so the um her dad came in. Um right. Her dad came in. Hold on. I want I'm going back because. Right. So her dad came in, startled the hell out of them. <laughs> It's like to bring him a sword that could kill a dragon, and so the Lord put me on the job. At that time, I'd gotten sick of doing work for nobles. Make them refined, make them elegant. Swords are just large butcher knives, after all. Tools meant for killing people. And so I forged it, as it was described. A sword that could butcher a dragon. So then, I almost got got hung out to dry so i run so i ran away from the castle town and i've lived here quietly since i sure was young back then mighty things things that could kill that's all there was for me but if anyone could handle this it'll still g it'll still just be a hindrance i don't like losing track of the essence of a tool but that's exactly what i did here now it's a good reminder. Can it kill one? Could this really kill a dragon? And he's like, if there were any dragon, if there were any dragons. He's like, but you know this ain't even what you'd call a sword. It's a meaningless slab of iron you can't even lift for killing dragons and monsters that ain't even real your friend looks like he's about to fight a dragon though <laughs> seems to want to fight even after losing his hand and i he ain't up to the job is he it's like dragons are dragons because humans can't beat them so he's basically our dragons Oh, so he's saying dragons are dragons because humans can't beat them. Okay. Guts is <laughs> Guts is out here cutting up fish. Trying to get some din din. You know what I'm saying? It's like good. So tomorrow you leave. So Rickert is asking Guts. If he's leaving, he's like, yeah. He's like, thanks for your help. You you don't have to, Guts. You don't have to. And he's like, Guts won't tell me anything. But I really do realize, I don't want to believe it, but the band of the hawk is. And he's like, I'll come open this in the morning. He's like, thanks. A key so Casca won't go outside. She's like a prisoner. She's mad at him, though, but... Hey, man. 
It's like, bet you're hungry. We got it made today. Erica really outdid herself. Damn, she is eating a lot. <laughs> crunch, crunch. It's like, better than a month ago. Better than a month ago before she tried to run just because I was here. Wow, she is. She's. So she's licking up the food. She's putting her mouth. It frightens her. It's like, what are you doing, idiot? And he's like, strip, it's gonna scald. She's like scratching him. She's He's basically telling her to take off the clothes because I think hot food, I think what spilled on her was hot, right? He's telling her to take off her clothes. And tears her dress. So he goes over her. To kiss her. But I don't think that's going to happen. Ah, man. You guys... Probably don't I, you probably probably don't understand this, or maybe you do. But man, to a woman that has been raped, man, even if it, that's if you, if that's your wife or girlfriend that goes through that situation, I don't think you'll ever. I don't know, man. I don't know because it's it's a very, it's a very. It's a situation where you don't know how to think in that situation. You don't know how to deal with it. You don't know how what to say to the person. You know what I'm saying? Man, that... You know... So she's trying to get out... But in, in another way, too, Guts is not understanding, like... She's gonna be scared of you, bro. Because she feels, she feels like that's how every man is right now. No matter if you and her used to have a relationship, she don't want anyone to touch her. You know what I'm saying? In a sexual manner. Okay, so day breaks. Guts puts his armor on. He's about to dip. It's like, you can use knives, Guts. So it's like asking him. Rickert is asking him, you can use knives? So he said, I had Judo teach me the ropes a long time ago. It's not my style, so that's as far as we went. It was like, it might be something I'll need this time. He's like, there. He's like, sad. Say, why are your clothes and armor all black? So she's asking him, not, um, what's this little girl's name again? It's like, because I'll be fighting in lots of dark places, they are in the darkness. It's like, hey, Guts, give me your left arm. Huh? It's like, trust me. Um, like this and... Okay. Is that like artificial harm? Huh? It's groovy. I made it from stuff in Master Goto's storehouse. It's magnetized, so you can grip a sword too. Okay. Here there's this too. I helped. I helped too. <laughs> okay, so it's a little little reason why it's groovy. Yep. Let's see. Face that rock and point the hand at it. Hmm? So he's testing out the um the the mini crossbow on top of the arm. It's like now pull that metal part on this side. Right, that. It's like, ah, you done getting ready, Godo? It's like, yeah. 
I'm about to leave. It's like, that was a close call. <laughs> Damn, he, he walked through the door as soon as he was going to pull the trigger. That was close. <laughs> For real. <laughs> it's like, good grief. Going through a man's stock in trade and taking whatever you want. It's like, this is why they say mercenaries ain't no better than thieves. <laughs> it's like, I owe you a lot. Heck, I'll just make him work off the cost of the food. Of the food and arms. It's like, yay. It's like, my farewell gift. Take it and go. I don't know who you're going off to fight or where, but you won't get far without this. I just forged it. It ain't my best, but it's damn fine. If you're careful with it, it shouldn't nick at all. So Guts test out the sword. Test it out. And it's like, how about it? <laughs> it didn't break. Sniff, sniff. Okay, so there's a demon nearby. Well, he knows that. It's like, so they're like, what's the matter? Because his brand started to bleed. It's like, what's the matter? And he's like, and they like found you. So the demon appears. It's like leftovers. Not good. And who are you? And he's like, wait. He's my guest. And he's like, I follow the scent of evil. My nose is really good. Now when her brand is bleeding too, she's screaming. Oh, snap. What? He transformed. This is the... No. It's like sacrifice. It's like... Oh, my God. It's like the hell. It's like gut hits. Everybody stay back. <laughs> my lucky day. The first one. <laughs> Blacking out in fear. Guts going crazy. Look at the art, man. Like this, yo, this art is so beautiful. It's not even. It's so human. You know, it's so realistic to the point like you you don't you feel like somebody is actually taking a, a photograph and editing it, and somebody, but it's drawn from scratch, man. Yeah, Guts losing it and just dashing in against him, knocking him out the door. Boom. What the hell is this thing, man? Damn. So he slashes him. Slashes him real good, too. Knock him out, knocked him off of off his feet and everything it's like this response will it work he's like what in damnation is is like wild game it's the first in my hunt slash at him again mm, it's like with this sword i can kill it I'm like oh wow this is bad. <laughs> it's like I doubt it would nick no matter how many people he cut with it. But I didn't make that for cutting inhuman things. Her guts goes in again. And it breaks. Oh, no. He slashes at it and it breaks. The sword breaks. Oh, my God. No. We need the Dragon Slayer. Get the Dragon Slayer now. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Thing breaks. And he's about to take over Guts. Guts flips back out of the way. No, he didn't flip back. Dude grabbed him with his tentacles and threw him. Guts get thrown around. This dude's guts is spilling out. It broke inside of him. 
It's like food. It's like, oh no. Guts. So Guts is saying, I don't, I don't think so. If I'm, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna buy it in a place like this, then why the hell did I survive? That's like, Guts, your artificial hand pointed at that thing. Hurry, pull the metal part at the base. So he aims it at him. Yo. And he pulls it. Uh, yeah, this thing is a freaking, like, cannonball. So he blasts him in the face with it. And blow out his entire back, bro. Damn, it's like a it's like a mini cannon that he has on his arm. Cause at first I was I thought it was like a shotgun, but it's a freaking mini cannonball, bro. Like this is crazy. Boom! Blast out the entire back. It's like yeah, he's got a cannon in his arm. <laughs> It's like, he's like, you gotta be kidding me, yo. <laughs> I would have said the same thing. The same thing, bro. Yo, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's like, my shoulder, it's out of joint, yes. It's like, too much gunpowder. Ow. Oh, oh, he sees the dragon slayer. <laughs> he sees the dragon slayer. Ah, Guts sees the Dragon Slayer, man. Let's get it. And he's like, yo, this thing is still alive. And then all of a sudden, this thing rips him in half, man. The Dragon Slayer has gotten the taste of inhuman blood. Yo, pitched him back and everything. Tore him in two. And he's like, Guts is walking up, chops him again and finishes the job. Oh my God, the vicious, the vicious, the vicious chop of the Dragon Slayer. The sword that we have come to know as the legendary, oh my God, the sword is legendary, bro. Oh my god. It's like chopped him in two. So he's like, you held out on me. Good. You get you got something much better suited to my fight. <laughs> With the guts. The guts on Guts's Dragon Slayer. <laughs> oh my god, look at that pose. Beautiful. It's like, that thing, you can wield it? It's like, you're full of surprises. Godo can't believe he can wield it, but we know he can wield it. Because we already know that he had this sword from the earlier chapters. Yeah. Like, Erica. See, Erica is like grabbing onto Rickard's um, shirt. It's like guts, guts right now. He's scary. You damn right. He ain't playing around. You hear that? Dragons are dragons because humans can't beat them. <laughs> He's like, so what's a man who beats dragons? So what's a man who beats dragons? It's like you're not. Going to say anything to Casca? And he's like, nah. And Rika said, Guts, listen. What I think is that maybe you should stay here. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to admit it. <clears throat> I hate talking for long. For <clears throat> Sometimes when I talk for long periods of time, my nose gets blocked like... So weird. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to admit it. But the band of the hawk. The band of the hawk. Is gone. 
I know it sounds harsh, but instead of getting revenge for dead people, you should be with Casca now. It ain't over. It's like, it ain't over. The band of the hawk ain't gone yet. Not yet. We're still here. This war ain't over. Take care of Casca. She's our leader. Protect her. I'm captain of the raiders, so I'll raid the enemy camp. Right? Revenge. War. Maybe any reason was good enough. But one thing's for sure. Right now, there's some dismal rage inside me. And that's all there is. Supporting these two feet. It pushes me to walk onward. Yes, a boy is out here, man. A boy is out here. Um, and now we are embarking in a new arc of the story, Lost Children, the Black Swordman, once more. So, hey, Mom, what was that? Mom doesn't know either, but it's a bad omen. Let us pray. Okay, what's that? Is like they're the holy iron chain knights. Why is the army of the holy sea here? What the holy sea? What is that? The holy sea <laughs> is essentially the central government of the papacy. Papacy, okay, those are some words I don't really know or people don't really use. All right, hey, hey, the Mother Pilgrim back. All right, before we dive deep into this chapter, let's pause here and come back for another part. All right, these chapters are very dialogue heavy, so I don't know how many parts I'm going to do today, but I'll probably be going to be here for another two hours. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to hold you up. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be probably another hour and a half to two hours. We're going to be here. So, Hey, hey, the mother pilgrim back there was quite because I don't want to rush. That's one of the things that I said I was going to stop doing or try not to rush through, um, rush through the chapters anymore um, because I don't want to miss anything. Uh, hey, hey, the mother pilgrim back. There was quite the beauty. Is she your type? Vice Commander as as an. I'll bet she's a war widow. Mind yourself, Serpico. Precisely how do you regard this duty of apocalyptic inquiry? A miracle of our solemn and dreadful God is before your eyes, and you let them stray over a mere woman? You ungrateful dog. Oh, you're so uptight. Awkward old men are pitiful, you know. This is why you're still single at your age. <laughs> That's none of your concern. I'm something of a clergyman, and I have absolutely no intention of a wedding. That's not fashionable these days. You too, somebody shouted out to them. Could you put an end to it? We're on a mission. Why are you guys so pretty? Why, what, what's with the getup? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why you got wings on your helmet? You know what I'm saying? We're on a mission. It's like message. Message coming in. Okay, she got angry. It's your fault. It's like, what is it? We we, we found it. F you found it? Really? At last. And like, you're certain? I. It's like, unmistakably, as prophesied, the Red Lake was... The Red Lake has appeared. What is going on here? No, no, no mistake. It surely is the Red Lake as the prophecy foretold. To think that something like this would really appear. Oh dear Lord. The revelations say that when the sun dies five times, a Red Lake will appear to the west of the city with a name both new and old. It is proof that the fifth angel will alight. The angel is the hawk of darkness. 
the master of the sinful black sheep, the king of the blind white sheep. I guess they're referring to Griffith here. Or Femto, whatever his name is. I'm guessing that's who they're referring. The fifth angel. Right? The one who shall call down upon the world an age of darkness. Two years later. So we're flash forward and real quick is like, talk about tough times. Lately there ain't been nothing worth plundering and now this rain looks like things are sh shriveling up in these parts. Only goods we caught this scrawny kid wander in the forest. Well, even so, she'll be worth something when we sell her off. It's like, oh, sheesh. He likes her. Oh, God. Why are they? Oh, why? Why are? <sighs> oh, there's always some disgusting dude, man. Um, so he licks her face. And it looks like she hit him in the nuts. Yeah, good. Like, that's pathetic, man. By the way, you know about this tree? What about it? A long time ago, heretics who believe in forest spirits lived around here. Heretics? It said they'd stake people's intestines to the tree and make them walk around in it. It was a ritual of sacrifice. Bruh, really? It's like, this tree's one of them. And they're like, this one? Like, hey, lay off the bad jokes. This place is creepy enough already. Think it's a joke? Look. Wow, and they saw all these nails in the tree. It's these... It's like, look real close at all the bumps. Don't they look like human faces? Let's <laughs> do the sweating. It's like, I bet... Those are the faces of people who got nailed to this tree. It's like, enough already. <laughs> this laugh and it's like, interesting. Hey, get up, bitch. Hey, dig. What are you doing? Ain't it obvious? Let's try it. That ritual thing. And they're like, forget about it. We got to sell her. We can just snatch another woman. He's like, besides, I want to see if she can really walk around a tree even once with her guts nailed to it. Um, he's like, that boy's sick in the head. Leave the fool be. Don't move or this will hurt. Bro, what is wrong with these guys, man? Like, ugh, this is so disgusting. Okay, so something comes in, seems like to his hand glowing and then falls to the ground he's like what the who's there what you trying to pull what now g g get your ass out here and it's guts Is like a forest ghost. It's like, who the hell are you? Tch, can't even catch a wink. Cause he was trying to sleep. It's like, how long you been there, bastard? Since long before you all started jabbering. <laughs> you made a fool of me. It's like, no, I didn't. It's like, don't screw with me, man. We could always drag out your balls instead of the girls. This man, does this guy know who he's talking to? He's like, never mind that. <laughs> Guts takes the sword. Look like he. Yo. Guts. He's too fast, bro. <laughs> was that? He's like, was that story true? About this tree? Steak and intestines and all that. It's like, sure, so what of it? You want to join the club? It's like, pff, this sucks. I can't believe I got out of the rain under something like this. No sleep's making me stupid. It's like, hey, this is none of my business. 
but you'd best get out of here now if you don't want to die. Guts is warning him. It's like, that's the last thing I expected from this fool. Don't you realize the position you're in now? Don't you realize the position you're in, sir? <laughs> do you know who you're talking to? I don't think you do. It's like, that's too bad how you made me, my buddy bleed. You won't get away with it. It's like, well, I'll give you one chance. Leave all your arms and goods and split. This guy goes to swing at Guts. He's like, move or your head gets smashed. <laughs> this man get punched in the face with an iron fist. Bro. Oh my God. Everything went, goes flying. And he's like, but one arm's all I've got. Sorry. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, a fake arm made of iron? You've got quite the rarity there, pal. We'll be taking it along with your life. These guys still don't get it. I, I mean, I just saw a guy, a guy just basically punch the guy so hard in his face with an iron fist, right? That... It split his head pretty much, <laughs> you know, and they're like, yeah, we're still going to be here, <laughs> you know, it's like, so Guts is like, wait, and they're like, you begging? Because it's way too late. And he's like, yeah, looks like you're right. And his brand starts to bleed. Oh my god, all they they were the story was true. What? He said it is too late. Whoa. Bro, that's crazy. That is crazy. So they come out of the tree. Bruh. They're eating these dudes. Like, run, monster. <laughs> oh, now you want to run, huh? So she falls to her knees. And yo. Bruh, she falls to her knees, gut swings right over her head, bro. Right over her head. <sighs> Bruh. One swing. Takes out the whole damn tree, pr pr pretty much. She's like, hey, now it's really too wet for firewood <laughs> with all that blood <laughs> yes it was much too big to be called a sword <laughs> massive thick heavy and far too rough <laughs> indeed it was like a slab of raw iron the black swordman once more <laughs> It's been two years since the black sun appeared. In a certain forest deep within a mountain ravine, there was a monster. A dreadful and fantastic spectacle. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. So Guts is tearing up the tree like, wow. He dashes forward, turning these guys into mince meat, man. All 
right? So they're like a tree, like tr a tree demon. That's crazy. So they're trying to swallow him up. So many of them. Or it could just be one with a lot of faces. <laughs> Sorry. So. Guts is using his arm. Everything he has at his disposal right now. To get rid of these dudes. Slashing. Slashing through them. They didn't stand a chance, bro. Cuts it in half. Cuts the tree in half. Now they're disappearing. The souls are coming out. So I put the thing over. <laughs> it's like, first I've seen the sun in three days. The sun comes out like, huh? So there was one left about to eat the girl sneaking up from behind. And it's like. Something knocks him out. It's like the death strike. Bloody needle. Bloody needle. Bloody needle. <laughs> oh, it's Puck. Okay, it's like they always howl good and loud when they get one of these. <laughs> okay, so it was you, bug, poking your nose into things. It's like, it's what I like to do, right? It's not like I asked you to beat up those bandit scuds. Well, guess it is true that I used you. Who knew that monster would be... Why is she screaming? He's like, what? I'm no freaky bug. You don't you don't have to do that after we saved you. It's like cry babies. It's like Misty Valley. An elf from Misty Valley? Misty Valley? So Puck is wondering if she's referring to him, but seems like she is. It's like, but wait for me. First, I've prayed to God in 10 years. Hmm? You got to be kidding. I didn't think it was really haunted. <laughs> I know you didn't. <laughs> We're just telling a story. It's like, man, one hell of a night, I tell you. Huh? What the, all this myth suddenly? You're know, like, uh oh, just now, yeah. I don't like this. And like, what is it? It's like, first a monster and now elves? Wait a second. It's like, dear God, it is a fairy tale. This ain't some kid's fairy tale. Oh my God. They're like, yes, this is a fairy tale for children. So they got um, the elves now. The elves of Misty Valley. They're like over there. That's my village. Pretty run down. So, they're at Misty Valley, which it seems like where the elves are living. But I don't think Puck is from there so, because it doesn't seem like he know about Misty Valley. So, she brings Guts to her town. It's like, looks totally run down. <laughs> She's like, uh, it's like, Jill, you... So her name is Jill. Okay. Where have you been all night, girl? And she says, all right, mom. At at a time like this, do you know how worried I was? It's like, what, Jill? 
Huh? Jill, running out like that all of a sudden, all of a sudden, where the hell you been wondering all night, huh? It's like still drinking this entire time. It's like, so, so what? You look like a fool still wearing that thing. Dude, dude please stop. She's come back safe after all. Shay, Shay, what? <laughs> yeah, stupid runt. Me and my war buddies here. Watch just reminiscing about the glory of the battlefield. Hi, Jill. Glad to see you're okay. Sorry about last night. What did they do last night? It's like that being shed. Go buy some booze. You're going to keep drinking? Jill, stop that. Enough already. Day after day, you babble on about some old battle you lost. Why don't you think about us some... Oh, damn. She caught a slap in the face for that. And she's like, Jill. Lost battle. Old babble. Don't talk to me like you know more than a kid. We fought our hearts out so our wives and children could live in safety. I served my country. Crawling around under cannonballs. And came away with a bum leg. What? So she like looking at him. <laughs> it's like, what? What's that look? Apologize to your father. That's her dad? Are you serious? Bruh. It's like out of the way. And he slaps the mom too. What a bitch ass Negro. What? Those, the eyes. You used to look at the father who risked his life for his family. What was that look for? What? What? No, he's beating her with with a stick or something, bro. You need help. You gotta show me more respect. You gotta be nicer to me. And then, and then, seems like Puck hit him with something, <laughs> with that thing too. Is like bloody needle. <laughs> when did you? Don't sweat the details. Who are you? What the hell are you doing? Huh? No, it was this. Why are they so scared of the elves? I don't understand. M uh, an elf? He's got an elf with him. It's like, good grief. What's the deal with these people? What did I do? It's like, ye, stay back. Stay back. I won't hurt you again. Uh, Jill, you hurry and get in the house. N no, Mom, that health saved me. He's not from the Misty. Okay, so so they know that he's not from there now. And he's like, okay, so we got him stepping. Good standing. <laughs> Everybody is like gathering with their pitchforks. He's like, does your kind swarm about and eat crops? You there, you're going to hand that elf over to us peacefully. It's like, that's fine by me. <laughs> it's, a puck is like protested. He's like, no, it isn't. But first, I want to know why. <laughs> He's like, shut up. Just give it here. Otherwise, we'll beat you dead. It's like, you're wrong. He's not one of the Misty Valley elves. Just come inside the house. His mom is trying to get Jill inside the house. It's like. Oh boy, doesn't seem talking's getting us anywhere. Don't just stand there. Skedaddle. Skedaddle. <laughs> the puck is trying to tell him to run. <laughs> Somebody was about to hit him in the head. <laughs> He's like, trip him. <laughs> He's like, give me back my grandchild. He's like, damn, my old lady, I screwed up. <laughs> like, he attacked. He's like, he attacked that old woman. Get in the pouch. <laughs> he puts Puck in the pouch. It's like, maybe they'll calm down if I kill one or two. <laughs> and Puck is like, guts, don't. <laughs> it's like, stop. Everybody stop. It's like, debt to the health. <laughs> Yo, guts lift that sword up. 
and puts it down, knocks everybody over. <laughs> like he puts it down, this carries these barrels, knock them all over. It's like, don't let him go. Don't let the health escape alive. <laughs> So he like jumps over the wall. I like, see him that way. Like, ah, oh, why did it turn out like this? It's like, I'll get him. Ign Ignorant muses? Some arson. Maybe. Hey. <laughs> it's like, I mean, what's the big idea? Catch the charming little elf and beat him to death? They're psychos. A den a twisted sex offenders. <laughs> a den of twisted sex offenders. Usually elves are synonymous with cuteness. When a head or two, uh, a cattle gets stolen. Ain't it a happy old tradition in backwoods joints like this to just smile and say, it was just a mischievous elf? <laughs> it's like, that's supposed to be an elf's privilege. Don't you get that? Someone ought to beat your attitudes into shape. Keep your chin down. Grit your teeth. It's like, <laughs> you done yet? <laughs> Since when did my satchel become your nest? Don't sweat details. Just think of it as Avin picked up a good luck charm. Means you're lucky. What's lucky about you? My luck just took a nosedive. <laughs> I'll curse you. It's like, Mr. Swordsman, little elf. So Jill is calling out to them. <laughs> They're arguing. It's like, I'm sorry. If only I had warned you ahead of time, this wouldn't have. God says, no kidding. No kidding. Thanks to that, I missed out on some valuable info. I'm Puck. Are you okay, Jill? It's like, sure, I'm fine. You can hide in that windmill shed. No one's used it since it broke down. Hey, Jill, right? When night falls, she says, she says, when night falls, I'll bring some food. Then we'll talk. Then we'll talk. Stay put until then. If you come, do it towards morning. Do not come near me before dawn breaks, no matter what. And he's like, huh? I doubt you want to re want a repeat of last night. It was like took long enough. I mean, this still dude still being an asshole. How long was I supposed to wait? Ishlug, I'm sorry. Now, now you proved your point. It's because you're this way that this is t Jill's turning out the way she is don't you see that discipline her i'll be mindful i've got to take a piss what is he doing so she's like locking the door she puts uh she blocks her door before she goes to sleep she she doesn't really sleep so the sun comes up she goes out to go see guts he's like mr swordsman what's going on here okay let's hold on a second guys yeah my internet just keeps it keeps going in and out. This has been happening ever since the um the um since the quarantine. I mean everybody is just you know, every now and then my internet will just go out like this is out it is out it is. Yeah. <laughs> alright. So alright. So alright, so we have places all broken up. Cause every night he's like fighting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, these demons just attack him out of nowhere, man. It's like, it's like, let him be a while. She was trying to wake him up. 
It's like he just fell asleep a minute ago. It was like a black swordsman with an elf. So he can basically only sleep in the daytime. That's crazy. Because he got to basically be fighting all night. You know. He's come from some strange world. Some place I don't know other than here. All right. Next. He wakes up. He's like, just when I thought I could sleep after four days. She falls asleep on him. So cute. Huh? It's like <laughs> Puck is sleeping. So he gets up. She wakes up. And it's like, why don't you tell me about the Misty Valley? The valley is east of this village over three mountains. For some strange reason, a mist hangs there all year round. So everyone calls it the Misty Valley. There's a legend that elves have lived there for a long time. But wait, why does everyone get that look on their face when anyone mentioned elves? Did something happen? I guess some weird swarm did go rampaging in the fields. It's like, how rude, we never do that, says Puck. It's like, you might be right. For some years now, the villages in this area have been attacked by mysterious creatures. Fields and storehouses are attacked and crops devoured. Lots of livestock are killed too. Everyone who sees them say the same thing. That they're elves. It must be the elves of the Misty Valley. They're like, that's nuts. It can't be. Elves attacking human villages. Elves naturally do all they can to avoid being seen by humans. What are you babbling about? It's some kind of mistake. Have you ever seen them, Jill? Yes, my village has been attacked many times. They're small and they glow faintly. They are insect wings on their backs and they're shaped like people. We've got a match. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but... I think something's not right. Something's strange, and I don't think it's true. Y'all are just too kind. I do declare I am useful, you see. But it's true that damage has been done, and not just to the fields and livestock. There's another reason why everyone in the village is scared. It's that those little ones also attack humans and eat them what and they carry off children like the boogeyman out here it's like jill jill so guts gets up and walks out. It's like, what, 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 what? The hell is going on outside? That, that's them. No, oh no, they're headed for Jill's village. Hey, what do you do? What do you do? Like, well, they ain't pesky little elves. There's something else. <laughs> this sinister look. On Guts's face, man. It's like. Woof. So the dog is woofing. They think they're elves, I guess. It's like they're here. The elves. The elves are here. Oh my god. It's a lot of them, too. Bro, did they do that to the dog? 
Yo! So fast! Bro, they just eat up the livestock and everything. It's like, brace it. Brace the door. Bro, those are not no damn elves. Maybe elf demons. Bro, they got in. They're like, Dad, Mom. They got in. They eat them so fast. It's like you're halfway. Go outside. What the hell are you thinking? It's like, but she slapped her in the face and it's telling her to go outside. It's like, Jill, Jill's still out there. So why don't you go? You're the war veteran. Are you serious? It's like, leave the fool girl be. She's in the wrong for wandering around outside at a time like this. It ain't my fault. Wow. It's like, damn it, no one around here listen to a thing I say. Why is my luck so rotten, huh? Damn it all. This little kid is outside. It's Thomas from the Hansons. Were they killed? Damn. They like, let's play. Oh. God. It's like, stay down, kid. Ooh. Splatter them with the side of the sword. Ah. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Splatter them all. Get them all. Ugh. Get them all, guts. <laughs> so he saves the kid. Elf bugs. <laughs> hey, look. From yesterday. Why? So he comes in clutch, man. Because these ain't no hells. What the hell is this? It's like, let's play. They're saying, yeah, let's play. These aren't no damn elves, man. They look weird, bro. Hells, huh? Dad, mom, hey kid, you want revenge for mommy and daddy? Or else, do you want to go with these things? He's like, okay, help out then. <laughs> He's telling the kid to help him out. Like, wait, Jill, wait, hey. I'm telling you, it'd be best to sit tight in the windmill shed. This is dangerous. It's like, come on. Quit it. This is bad news. <laughs> he, he puts him on the sword. Guts puts him on the sword. It's like, isn't that... So Guts puts him on the sword... And they're like, how dare you, dear God. <laughs> Guts puts him on the tip of the sword, right? It's like, there he goes again. <laughs> so he's using the kid as bait. He's using the kid as bait. And now he's running with it. So he's having them chase him. He's trying to take them out of the village. So it's like. Damn, they almost caught up with him right here. He's trying to get get them out. So he's using the kid as bait to get them all out. Right. Into the cabin where they killed all some of the, the livestock, the pigs and stuff. Now they're all there. Okay. So he puts a kid in the corner and tells him, don't move. The end already? Over already? Is that the end? He's like, boring. Oh, wow. They transformed. <laughs> they transformed. This is my true form. <laughs> this is my true form. All right. So they're saying they're boring. They transform is like some kind of vermin. I knew it. So they're like, 
So Guts goes to work on him, taking him down. What is that? He threw something. What is that? Are they through? No. Who threw? So he pulls the cannon. Blows them. Blows them up. Then grabs the kid. And goes through the back of the. The cabin. Or whatever. The. The, the thing. Outside. And blows it up. So it's on fire. Okay, so they're all in there. It's like over there. The kid comes out with the kid. Puts his jacket over the kid. He's like, you made a good lure, boy. <laughs> it's like, watch. Bugs burn. Real nice. It's like, Jill, look. There's still more of them left. Who is this? Is this the queen? Berserk, the prototype. Okay, this story is a submission piece created by Kintaro Miura during college in 1988, which became the basis for what is now Berserk. The standard of the detail world view and whatnot differs at points from the berserk series being published today but the intent is still present in the early incarnation this story is set after the conclusion of the band of the arc story arc so what is it called berserk the prototype okay so let's see what this is all about this was supposed to be after the band of the hawk okay Let's see what this is about. I don't know if this is part of the main story or not. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to let me know. I don't know. All right. So we have a bunch of skeletons in the street. So that's a little much for scarecrows. What you scared puck? They have some dudes attacking a girl. It's like, don't move. Don't move. Move, and I'll split you in two, starting with the sweet spot. You don't want to be cut in half, do you? Then you'll get screwed like them up on that hill. Just on our skewers. Just on our skewers. So he gets an arrow to the face. <laughs> Boss. No, nah, you all getting massacred with guts here. I'm guessing this was originally a different drawing because guts looks way different here. Hmm. It's like, ah, uh, what the hell? There's nothing here. At least carry some food. Stingy little is like, watch. Bro. Who did he kill here? Cut this dude in half. Wow. It's like amazing sword. It's like, see ya. He dips. <laughs> I get food for this. Got it. So he's like carrying her. <laughs> hey, keep your distance, shorty. <laughs> huh. You don't need to get so close, you jerk. Oh, oh, this? All right, a little breathing room. Oh, so cute. An elf, I've never seen one. He's just an annoying pest. <laughs> We're on a horse, I suppose, distance myself. Then you get off and walk, Guts. Shut up. I'm hungry here. <laughs> Keep screaming, I'll boil you and eat you. Don't yell at the poor thing. I thought you'd be scarier, but I guess I was wrong since an elf is this close to you. You couldn't be a bad man. Zach, I wonder. 
Uncle, Frika, what in the world? Why have you come back? Frika, it's Frika. Mom, it's Frika. Okay, something must be up. How? I thought we'd never... Okay, so... What happened to her? It was like the wagon was attacked by bandits. That man rescued me. Bet he just wanted food, though. Vlad Tepes. What's that? It's what we call our Fife Lord. He's a madman. Insane. It was over ten years ago during a war with a neighboring country. The Lord took 500 prisoners, impaled every last one of them on wooden stakes, and lined them up along the border. Not just soldiers either. Women, children, priests, all of them. Even after 10 years we have been commanded not to remove them, they still stand on the hill at the border. I figured they weren't scarecrows, <laughs> but even wartime was better than now. When the Lord ran out of enemies, enemies, enemies <laughs> he began turning his hand against his own people several years ago a sinister rumor started going around that the lord was gathering young women from within his domain and butchering them night after night no one believed it at first but after a time a girl corpse surfaced in the river running behind the castle a corpse skewered from its head through its torso the story is that the Lord gathers girls to be maidservants, four already chosen from this village, and not one has come back safe. Hmm. And so the fifth one's your daughter, right? She could have just run away. What a fool. Dear. Frika. Then another girl would probably take would probably be taken. I know, I know that, but still, so sad. One more, ma'am. Oh, what's the matter, everyone? Ma'am, we'd like a word with him. Kill the Lord? Hey, hey, you ain't really serious, are you? It's like, give me a break. That's the last thing I thought you'd say. Listen up. This is um, Guts. It's, they're trying to ask Guts to kill the Lord, right? So his response is, give me a break. That's the last thing I thought you'd say. And they says, listen up. Killing the Lord means taking on that entire castle myself, says Guts. Even if I sneak in, I'm dead if they find me. It's stupid. Why should I put my life on the line for people I don't even know? And they they, res they said, but there will be a due reward. He's like, ha, huh, a tiny village like this couldn't reward me with much. Please avenge my granddaughter. The girl who was found in the river was her granddaughter. And she's like, I beseech you, avenge. It's like guts. This <laughs> is puck. It's like sorry, old lady. I've got nothing to do with just and generous chivalry. I could care less. Okay, I'll be going now. Well, what a low thing to say. I knew it'd be useless. He calls himself a knight. And puck is like, how could you? What a thing to say. Why not help them? It's like ah, pipe down. He's like, jerk, 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 jerk. It's like, what gives? The old lady who had a family member killed, you should understand her feelings the most. She'll forget eventually, once she goes senile. He's like, Black Knight. The girl is calling out to him. He's like, what? I'm sorry. I went and told everyone that you're a very powerful knight. That's why they all said those unreasonable things. I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's like, I didn't really care. Also, hmm, could I take something of yours with me? It's like, well, I ain't got much to offer, just weapons. It's, and she says, anything would do. And she's like, is that a no? 
Damn, he gave her the iPad. He's like, will this do? <laughs> like, thank you. He gave her the iPad. He's like, fuck, he's looking at him weird. It's like, what? You want to save her, right? Don't you, Mr. Black Knight? <laughs> it's like, don't care, selfish scumbag. <laughs> Why are you always like this? Only caring about bitterness. You don't even give a damn for what's around you. You're going to live for nothing but dead people? You shouldn't do that. It's sad. So Guts grabs Puck. Is like, my mother had her innards ripped out and eaten by them while she was still alive. She was torn apart. She became a piece of meat right in front of me. He's like, Guts hurt. Sorry, Puck. But that's all I've got. Killing them is all that keeps me going. I ain't got no life to spare for other people. It's like guts. It's like there she goes. That's that crest was. Wait a second. Why is the brand? Yeah. That crest was. Why is the brand on the carriage? That's crazy. Well done. You may leave guards. Welcome, girl. That's Vlad Tepes? It's like, hmm, so young. Come closer and show me your face. Oh, God. I can't stop moving. Beautiful and full of life, too. So he's a demon. He's a demon. He's a demon. Such cold hands and that smell it's like something's rotting. Yeah, he's a demon. He's he's not human. Oh, oh guts is here. <laughs> it's like, wouldn't it be a good idea to skewer yourself now and then? I'd be happy to put an eye patch on you. <laughs> it's like Black Knight. Yo, I have a little business to deal with with Baldy here. How gallant. Who are you? It's like, you ain't dying? So it looks like I ain't got the wrong guy. No matter whoever you are, I won't let you live after shooting at me. They're like, Black Knight. Bro, where's all this stuff coming from? <laughs> all these spears coming after him? Bruh. Bro, where's all these spears coming from? At Guts right now. That's crazy. Guts. Oh, a trifle. I thought you would provide more enjoyment, but humans die so soon. You really do seem to like impaling, lard ass. <laughs> and like guts. Is he licking his lips here? <laughs> He's like, don't get worked up. The fun's just starting. Guts pulls the dragon slayer. It's like, I'm going to mince you up, dog of Vuana. Damn whelp. Man's about to transform. The Lord of We Who Are Not Human. It's like, how do you know that name? The Lord of We Who Are Not Human. The most powerful god of this world. The name of the ancient god of darkness. Vuana. Boy, who the hell are you? He's like, ha. Ah. It's like, let's do this, hog bull. It's like, that's crazy, Guts. Guts goes in and he throws a massive stone at Guts. Guts just slices through that. Let's go. Slices through it. It's like, you bastard. Guts goes in for the kill. He's like, oh, well done. I praise you for getting this far. But after all, you're only human. This 
is your limit. Catches him mid ear, catches guts mid ear. It's like, no, didn't I say I was gonna mince you? <laughs> Says guts. Like, didn't I say I was gonna mince you? So he pulls out the 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 cannon, the cannon hand, and blasts him in the face. It's like, and this finishes it. Mm, mm, mean slash mean slash right there finishes it hog bull or whatever ooh nasty he's like he did it it's like impossible there's no way a human could beat me an apostle of one no way who else but a human would hate you bastards this much That's the brand of sacrifice of Wana, a human's. A human's. Like, Guts, hurry, it's collapsing. So they're trying to get out. Guts looks at Puck. He's like, thank goodness. It ain't about you. I just killed my enemy. That's all. It's like, nope, it's nothing. Guts sure was scary then. A lot more than Vuana's apostle. He's like, let's go. He looks so sinister. Aren't you even going to get those wounds treated some? I know. Uh, I'll give him as much flesh as blood as they want. While I'm at it, I'll jam some steel into their head. The prototype. Okay, so that is the end, guys. I didn't pause. So I'm going to go do my review. Make sure, guys, when the review comes out on YouTube, you go and check it check it out, man. I have a lot to say for all you guys that came over and checked this out on the Google Drive, all you guys on Patreon, man. I really do appreciate it for sticking with me for the last um, two hours, I want to say. So, yeah, man, cool, cool beans. I'll see you guys for the review. All right, here we are. Berserk Volume 14 is through. It's over. And here we are. Let's talk about it. Anyways, the thing that I love about, let me start off by saying this. The thing that I love about this manga is because it takes its time to tell a story, regardless of how long it takes, even though because of me holding the mouse and stuff, my shoulders arm started to hurt me. You may have seen me flexing it a couple of times. I'm trying to stay limber. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's pretty much all I do now is is um work out, sit, you know, because of this quarantine. Um, you know, and I'm trying to put out content as much as possible. So it's more than usual. So my upper body is not necessarily used to me just you know, doing this much content all the time on a continuous basis. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling the pain. I'm definitely feeling the pain. So, yeah, I'm loving this because it takes a time to tell a story that I'm very much so invested in just 14 volumes in. I want to say we're about, uh, um, I would say probably around 150 chapters in, um, you know, maybe not that much but we're definitely a lot and i think it's like 10 um on average 10 9 sometimes it's 11 chapters per volume so we're somewhere around there so it's not bad for 150 chapters of storytelling and it's not even about the battles it's not even about the fights the story is so intriguing it makes the battles so much more uh, makes me appreciate the battle so much more the fights so much more when they when they turn up because the story is so much more there's so much more intriguing in my opinion i enjoy the story more than the battle scenes to be honest because i want to know more about this world that they're living in um especially now that we have concluded um seeing how griffith got into the god hand and how he turned evil how he's not a friend of humans anymore like get into that aspect of things 
it makes the story very intriguing because it's like, are we going to see Guts versus Griffith one day? We don't know. You know what I'm saying? At least I don't know if that has happened already in the manga. I don't know. Please don't tell me if it did, you know, because I want to be surprised when it's happening. Okay, so... Um, so, yeah, I'm very much enjoying the story. The art always unbelievable so during this volume what we learn um one of the things that I, I started off learning was that the the connection between we at some point we're going to learn the connection between the skull knight nosferatu and the god hand we need to know why there there's demon factions that are fighting against each other because you would think that they would be united but you got the god hand is the big dudes you get what i'm saying they're the bigger dudes but unfortunately not so nasferatu and skull knight seems like they come from a different faction of demons so it's like why are they fighting against them are they where they used to be human you know what i'm saying did they used to be human got transformed and rebel like they're kind of in the same situation as guts in some sort of way i don't know so, Guts ending up having to leave Casca because Casca just ain't having it. You know what I'm saying? Like, she is out of her mind. And, you know, the thing about Casca is that she is not... She having a, you know, Griffith's demon baby. And, you know, Skull Knight telling her that, Hey, man, one day you guys are going to have to face this demon again. Don't know when that's going to happen. But it will happen. I don't know if the, 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 the last chapter of this volume, I don't know if it's included in the main story. I don't know. You guys can let me know that. If it's part of the main story, it doesn't seem like it is. It seems like they just put that there for, for some reason, like something that the author did or drew, but they just wanted to include it. They said this happened right after the Band of the Hawk arc. It's kind of, you know, so I don't know. Sometimes in a little, in some sort of way, the timeline can be a little bit messed up in this manga. So you really got to pay attention to what you're, you're reading a lot of the times. So, you know, so you guys can let me know to make it kind of clear to me why they tack that on at the end, um, the prototype. So let me know. Of course... Of course, we find out how Guts got his hand on the dragon, the Dragon Slayer. We finally learned the name of the sword, right? It's called the Dragon Slayer. So, makes sense. Makes so much sense, you know. Um, so, what has took place in the story? The battles were all cool. Love them all. We all know that Guts can slash things up. Um, but um, at this point... You know, as I said, I'm more interested in where the story is going from here because we're going to see a lot of his adventures and chasing down these apostles, you know what I'm saying, of the people of the God Hand and stuff like that. And God uh, and Guts knows knows them by name. So throughout all of that, you know what I'm saying, like he's not playing around. He's going around and looking for these guys wherever he sees them. He's going to kill them. He took care of that one like he, I'm saying probably less than a minute he didn't stand a chance and that was a great way to end the volume of course if that you know what i'm saying um so i'm definitely looking forward to the next chapter you know but i'm so intrigued by the story right now you know but i can't if i could guys like if my voice could handle it i would definitely do two volumes this time around because i have the time to do it but i can't because i have it's either i'm going to have to do it more often as in giving you guys um two oh i could do two a week you get what i'm saying if i if if i feel it you know what i'm saying or even once a week i'm pretty sure i can do once a week so don't worry about it you're gonna get more berserk coming up so don't worry about it. it it's there's more to come but anyways if you guys have checked out this video man and liked it make sure you hit that like button comment let me know what you thought of this chapter this chapter was very was very wholesome for the most part the the you know um just just kind of accepting the fact of who Casca is now she basically locking her up so she don't go outside so she can't really leave because 
you know, all these demons and spirits are going to come up and try to eat her. And, and she can't really defend herself right now. She's not in that position. And God still loves her. You can see that she he really still loves her. Um, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. Hopefully they can get back together where they can make love to each other again and get, you know what I'm saying? I want him to get back to that place, but that was too quick for him to try to do something with her at that point. It was just too quick. But in any case, guys, subscribe if you're new. As always, man, more berserk to come. I thank you guys. Terabyte reacts out. Stay cool. Gratitude is never enough, man. We out here. Peace.